This is The Buzz, your music news update. Sponsored by JojoMacMusic.com www.jojomacmuzik.com Hello everyone, I am Pistol and this is The Buzz. Following a performance by Tupac Shakur via holographic projection at the recently concluded Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival in the United States, industry players in Jamaica are considering having reggae legend Bob Marley perform again in a similar fashion. Porter's contacted Youth Ambassador for Entertainment Graham Rowe to get his opinion on the possibility of creating a holographic Bob Marley and according to Rowe, such a move would have both negative and positive implications. He said a holographic Bob Marley would have been both beneficial and negative. He said this technology could re-stimulate global interest in reggae music and people would get a chance to see a Bob Marley performance and that is magnificent. However, some things can get played out easily and they do not want to play out one of Jamaica's biggest icons. He said there is a concept that scarcity increases value so perhaps if a holographic Bob Marley was allowed to go on a tour that could reduce his legendary status. He however said he would love to see Bob Marley performing again. He went on to say and I quote, we could also include current reggae artists to improve their international exposure, end quote. The Montreal International Reggae Festival to be held from August 17th to 19th will pay tribute to Jamaica's 50th anniversary of independence. According to the festival's public relations officer, Janice Dale, the show will feature several generations of reggae artists. Heading the diverse list of performers will be superstar Jimmy Cliff, whose career started in 1962, the year Jamaica gained independence from Britain. Luciana, Taurus, Riley, Conscience, Christopher Martin, and Carl are also confirmed for the show. The lineup is completed by Canada-based artists. The festival, which was first held nine years ago, has used the theme United Against Violence since its inception. DJ Flipper Mafia has returned with a bang. His latest single, Real to the People, which is featured on Boardhouse Records' Dutty Cartoon Rhythm, is said to be blowing up FM radio. This is not the first time Flipper has worked with Boardhouse Records. They previously collaborated on the chart-topping single, Demia, said them a lipa, bought them a floss, and over the money, he describes the synergy with the budding label as strong. The artist also has ventured into music production with the creation of his Flip Money Squad and Flip Money Records. Flip Money Records made its debut a while back with the Canary Diamond and Extra Fire Rhythms which featured hits from Bounty Killer and Bojo Banton. Philadelphia-based Jamaican-born singer-songwriter MG is on the promotional trail with the singles Never Come See and No Tale. The former Trenchtown High School student revived his entertainment career last year with Never Come See, which he said is getting major rotation on reggae stations in the United States and parts of the Caribbean. He later recorded No Tale and Can't Make Us Nervous, a collaboration with Mr. Easy, Girls Alone, Life Is Not a Joke, and Hypocrite. MG's live dates are currently concentrated in the Philadelphia, New York City, and Connecticut region, but if the seer continues on this new path, in no time the world will no doubt be his stage and playground. MG got the looks and definitely the talent to have the women swooning in his direction. He is getting rave reviews on Never Come See, and it's gearing up to be a summer favorite. Sizzler is known for his hard-hitting message music, but he changed course with his latest song, Love Connection. While he is known for roots anthems like Black Woman and Child, Sizzler has scored with lovers rock numbers such as Just One of Those Days. Love Connection is produced by Adrian Donsom Hanson and released on the Donsom record label. Two of Dancehall's leading ladies have denied speculation of a developing feud between each other following a recent interview. The Queen of Dancehall, Lady Saw, was the subject of an interview on TVJ's Entertainment Report aired recently in which Saw was asked which current female artist could be next in line to take over the dancehall scene. When asked if prominent divas Tifa and Spice were the artist's best fit to succeed her, Lady Saw allegedly said, never in my league. My shoes can never be filled. 
the DJ categorically denied saying that in response to the question of her successor, insisting that she was displeased with the way Entertainment Report cut her interview, especially given her strong friendship with Spice. However, speculation about a beef with Tifa intensified after rumors spread that Tifa had been impregnated by Lady Saw's longtime boyfriend, John John. Tifa had reportedly sent a BlackBerry broadcast message prior to the interview in which she allegedly denied taking away Lady Saw's boyfriend, claiming that the rumors were part of an ongoing publicity stunt which she believed the Queen of Dance Hall started herself. International superstar Akon is planning to release an all-reggae composition after finishing work on his upcoming album, Stadium. This idea was said to have been sparked after his January visit to the island where he rapped with the Marley brothers Damien, Julian, and Steven at Tough Gong Studio. In an article on Billboard.com, Akon said that it was an honor to be in the environment and be inspired by it. He also said that he was writing three to four songs per day because he was so and that he was surprised that the studio has remained the same over the years. He also hinted to Billboard.com that there may be a collaborative effort from the Marleys for the project. Akon has had collaborations with a few reggae dancehall artists such as Tammy Chin in Frozen and she later signed with his Convict Music label. He also worked with Mavada for Survivor and signed Singing Do a Brick and Lace to his Con Live distribution label. American rapper Nas has sampled Supercats dancing in New York for a song on his upcoming album. Supercats' song was released in the 1990s, but has been sampled for Nas's The Dawn, which is one of the singles that will appear on his summer album called Life is Good. The song starts with an intro from Supercat, then Nas raps his verses over a hip-hop beat, but in sections of the song, Supercat's voice can be heard, adding melody to the track. But the new single, The Dawn, features production from Salam Remy, The Interns, and the late Heavy D, who died suddenly in November. The music video for the song has been released. Life is Good will be Nas's 10th studio album and is slated to be released on July 17th. I am Pistol, and that, my friends, was The Buzz. The Buzz. The Buzz. Sponsored by JojoMacMusic.com. www.jojomacmuzik.com. Talk about it, girlfriend Don't tell me it's that man again Putting you through the same thing When will it ever end? What you thinking about, girl? <laughs> 